Here's another edition of film reviews from me. Sharan Sharma gets one of India's most talented actors with one very popular Nepo kid. Makes his little compromises and attempts half heartedly to give you yet another sports biopic or a sports story. Seemed to be making up for lost time and in the last few years had won too many of them. Sharma is dealing with Mr. and Mrs. Mahi. The central characters are Mahi and Mahi. Uh, Mahi the other one played by Rajkumar Rao and Manish Mahima played by Jahan. Two middle class family products. While uh, Mahi Agarwal is a no gooder who's failed in life and whose father, played yet again brilliantly by Kumar Mishra, is always at the receiving end of taunt and failure because long years ago he had dreams of being a part of the cricket world at the highest level and failed to make the grade. His father runs a local sports shop in Jaipur and always runs down his son in compared to his other son, Sikandar, played by Arjit Taneja, who's a pop singer, who's reasonably popular, who at least knows how to play with it in the social platforms and therefore has his own fan films. What happens is the Agarwal family decides to get him married and the matchmaking ends with Mahima, a doctor played by Jahan. Mahima is extremely impressed with the honesty of Mahi Agarwa and therefore says yes to the marriage. Both have a passion for cricket, so much so that on the first night of their wedding, they go to bed early and wake up next morning to sit down and watch an Australia-India cricket match. This is where their common interest blossoms. And Mahi, who understands that he has no future as a cricketer, decides to make being a coach a career at the instance of his own uh, coach, Benny, played by Benny Dayal, played by uh, Rajesh Sharma who very often keeps telling him that uh, being a coach has its own place. While initially Mahi Agarwal thinks that it's playing uh, only in the background, he decides that that's his only ticket to fame and therefore begins to nurture his wife, Mahima, Mr. Mahi and Mrs. Mahi into becoming a big-time cricketer. She begins to play cricket, she becomes successful, and here becomes, here we revisit the wonderful, uh, poignant story of ego in a matrimonial success story, Abhiman, the Amitabh Bachchan, Jaya Bachchan uh, story that Rishikesh Mukherjee had handled with such brilliance. This film is nowhere near that. But sooner than later, the coach has to eat dust when he realizes that his uh, own ego has kept him from seeing his wife's career, why she can't accept it. Interestingly, he gets his lessons on equality from his mother, a small cameo from Zani Namaha. Well, I'm drags. We've had one too many Maidan stories these days. I'm not going to give you a list of films on cricket. It could be Devanand, it could be Amir Khan. You have films like uh, Dhoni the Untold Story. You have uh, the World Cup. Oh, you have so many films on cricket which have eaten dust except Laga. Have all eaten the dust at the box office. So you obviously need something brilliant, something amazing if you want to do a film on cricket and this is not. Also, there is now suddenly an overkill of the template of how you're going to tell the story of a sports person. The initial rejection, the struggle, the kudos, the success, and the climax of the final success. Just too passive. 
will we please change our templates? Time we do. This movie could have been better pitched with more emotive space for the hero heroine story in an attempt to keep cricket and the emotive part. The director falls between the two stools. The surviving aspect of the film is the brilliant performances from Kovit Mishra, Rajkumar. Janani, work in progress. She has been work in progress. She is work in progress. Very often she has a solo look on her face throughout the film. I don't think she's really mature to do these kind of roles. This is her second outing with uh, the director. But uh, I don't see anything brilliant from her as of now. Raj Kumar Rao is there. But like in uh, Shika, I think cameramen must understand that Raj Kumar Rao's face will not show him as an 18 year old or a 22 year old. Please understand, these are scenes that you could take long distance photographs, trick the audience with your photography, which has obviously not been done. The photography a, is showing his face with bellies his age is not a great idea, but that was notwithstanding. Raj Kumar Rao, ever dependent, fine performance. He along with Kumit Mishra are the saving graces of Mr. and Mrs. Mahi. A film that I'm not going to ask anybody to waste their time on. You'd rather sit and watch the I the T20 World Cup going on in the United States of America. Where else would you get a match like last evening's uh, match between India, uh, between Aust United States of America and Pakistan? That amazing super over. Unfortunately, oh yeah, Sharma's uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mahi was as good as the super over bowled by Pakistan. Indiscipline, lack in focus, and unproductive. Thank you, Abhinav and Datu, for helping me reach out to my viewers and on that count hope to see you with some more releases in the near future bye bye